SpaceX may attempt a risky maneuver, using its launch tower and chopstick arms, to catch a returning Starship booster rocket, during its first orbital launch. Newly updated documents filed to the U.S. Federal Communications Commission suggest that the company founded by Elon Musk may have changed its plans. The first plan said that both stages of the rocket would end up in the ocean, with the booster landing in the Gulf of Mexico and the upper stage coming down near Hawaii after completing a partial orbit of Earth. Scroll down for video however. The company's FCC application now states that upon launching from Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas, the Super Heavy booster will separate from the upper stage and, then perform a partial return and land in the Gulf of Mexico or return to Starbase and be caught by the launch tower. The change in the documents was first observed by Michael Baylor from NASASpaceflight.com. The FCC application covers the first orbital launch of Starship, so it would appear that this is what's being planned as an option. Although SpaceX has now successfully launched and landed Falcon 9 rockets a hundred times, this new maneuver is a different beast. The Starship booster itself is 230 feet tall and would have to perfectly align itself above the 400-foot tall launch mount and then slowly descend. The Starbase's pair of so-called chopstick arms would then guide the mammoth booster to a safe vertical landing. Such a move would come with multiple risks, according to Eric Ralph at Tesla RT, who writes, In the event of larger anomalies during a landing attempt, Starship or Super Heavy could accidentally impact the launch tower, damaging or even outright destroying the skyscraper-sized structure. Ultimately, the immense risk posed by any catch attempt means that unless SpaceX has miraculously gotten the design of everything involved nearly perfect on its first try, the company will have to be extraordinarily cautious and expend a large number of ships and boosters to avoid rendering its only Starship launch tower unusable. At least to some extent. SpaceX likely knows this and Super Heavy would likely need to be in excellent health and perform perfectly during the ascent and boost back portions of its launch debut to be cleared for a catch. Attempt. Ultimately, Starship's first orbital launch could end up being even more of a spectacle than it's already guaranteed to be. The journey for Starship, which has been chosen by NASA for the Artemis missions too. The moon has had its share of hurdles. On Monday, its booster rocket was engulfed in flames during a ground test, with footage showing a fireball and the camera shaking from the explosion. The booster remained standing during the incident, and Musk later said his team was looking into the damage.